tonight, the Mount Healthy Board of Education is requesting solvency assistance from the state. School leaders say the district is in a state of financial crisis that cannot be fixed without serious help. So our Brady Williams was at that meeting tonight and is live now with what happened. Brady. So what does solvency actually mean? It means your ability to pay off your debt, which by all accounts, most school officials here say they cannot do at Mount Healthy. There were really two meetings that happened here. The first of which was one featuring the state auditor's office who presented their findings from an audit of the school's finances. What's being presented in front of you, that would change your forecasted 2024 ending balance it to be a deficit of $10,758,000, which is considerably different from what was presented in February. Anna Mary Thomas with the State Auditor's Office presented their findings from an audit into Mount Healthy's finances. The school has over $10 million in debt. With that, the board entered an emergency session to approve a resolution that first certifies the school's financial situation. Whereas the Ohio Auditor of State will soon certify the amount of Mount Healthy City School District's uh, fiscal year 2024 deficit and determine if the district will be declared to be in a state of fiscal emergency. Superintendent Valerie Hawkins says this financial crisis was brought on by a number of factors. She says the district is already poor, it's losing COVID-era funds, and she says the school has a high need for special education. She says that the special needs of students legally cannot be ignored and they need more resources, but she tells us those resources cost extra money that is not recompensated. This all comes after the district laid off 80 employees last month because of its financial issues. Now, the school board plans to request solvency assistance to the tune of $10 million from the state. Upon declaration of fiscal emergency, request the Ohio Department of Education and Workforce seek an advance from the school district solvency assistance fund on its behalf in an amount equivalent to the forthcoming certified fiscal year 2024 deficit. So if this money were to be approved, it would come in the form of a loan. They would have two years to pay this off. Now this would just keep them afloat for the remainder of this year. The superintendent says they still need to investigate how exactly they can save costs in the long run and keep themselves financially stable. They say that there have been many cuts so far. There could potentially be some more, though not as major. I was also told that they've explored some options that may include imposing a tax levy. This is something they have not done since 2003. Live in Mount Healthy, Brady Williams, Fox 19 Now.